In this video, I explain about meta center and meta centric height. So, first we study about the meta center. So, it is defined as the point about which body start oscillating when body is tilted by small angle. Now, here in this figure, we see this is the one body, body shape is the rectangulars, and this is the axis. And from this axis, when we applied small angular moment or angular displacement to the body, body start to oscillating. Oscillating means we know the pendulum is oscillating about the one point. So similarly this way, the body is moved from this M point to the left and right side like this way. So it is called as the oscillating motions. So here the meta center point is this M point and about this M point body is oscillates. So second definition of the meta center is the meta center may also be defined as the point at which line of action of force of buoyancy. Line of action of force buoyancy means here the force buoyancy is the B and G is the gravitational point. So when we apply some angular displacement to the body, this buoyancy force is moved from B to B1 and this B1 have a new axis. Okay, So this B1 is the new axis and this is our normal axis. So this new axis and the normal axis is meet at this one point or we can say that the both axes are intersect to each other at this one point it is called as the meta centers means the point at which the line of action of the force of buoyancy will meet the normal axis of the body when the body is given the small angular displacement means when we apply small angular displacement this body is tilt at a certain angles and this b is moved toward a b1 and b1 have a new axis and this new axis is intersect with this normal axis so this point is called as the meta centers now we can understand in a details so first we consider this is the floating body as shown in this figure in this figure here we see this is a two point one is the g point g means it is the center of gravity point and at this point the whole weight of the body is concentrated second point is the b point what is b point it is the center of buoyancy means buoyancy force or buoyant force is acting at this point b and it have a normal axis normal axis means it is the perpendicular to the body so here we see this is the body and normal axis is at the 90 degree to the body so let the body is in equilibrium means this body is currently in a equilibrium state g is the center of gravity that we already discussed b is the center of buoyancy for the equilibrium both the point lies on a normal axis which is verticals so for the equilibrium condition both the point is required on a one axis or it is required on a normal axis that is fulfilled in this diagrams let the body is given small angular displacement in a clockwise direction as shown in a figure b now in this figure we see this is the normal axis and from the normal axis we given the small angular displacement in a clockwise direction so when we given the small angular displacement the center of buoyancy is the center of gravity of the displaced liquids means when we given small angular displacement to the body it's displaced some quantity of the liquid so when liquid is displaced the our buoyancy point is changed okay or we can also say that center of gravity of the portion of body submerged in a liquid so here we see this is the water level and below the water level the body is submerged in a liquids okay so this portion have different center of gravity and center of gravity of the submerged body is equal to the center of buoyancy will now be shifted towards the right from the normal axis so this is the normal axis from the normal axis it is shifted to the right side and its name is changed from b1 sorry b2 b1 so let it is at the b1 means the new buoyancy point is the b1 and the line of action of force of buoyancy in a new position 
will intersect the normal axis of the body at the some point and if this point is says the m and this m is called as the meta center means from the point b1 we draw one vertical axis and this vertical axis is intersect with this normal axis okay so when they are intersect this point is called as the meta center and it is denoted by the m now before moving towards the meta centric heights i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to fmhm as well as the other subject of mechanical engineering for fmhm subject various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a car now the last definition is the meta centric height so it is the distance so what is the distance where we measure the distance we measure the distance between the any two points okay so in this diagram here's b c d is here three points are there one is the m it is a meta centric point second point is the g d it is a center of gravity point and the third point is the buoyancy force but here we need to measure the distance between the meta center m of the floating body and the center of gravity of the body means meta center point means m point and the center of gravity means g points so distance between these two point is indicate the meta centric height so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video of fmhm and other subject of mechanical engineering for fmhm subject various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car for other subject i request to visit the playlist and don't forget to share with your friends